before the two men in the tree could think about getting away. The tiger protection patrol arrived on the scene and were surprised by what they saw. Two grown men covering, cowering in a tree, one locked in a cage, and two 11-year-olds looking in control of the situation. I don't know what's happened here, said Sunia, impressed, but we have two honorary tiger protectors to add to our group. He shook their hands and handed the children bottles of water, which they dropped down gratefully. Actually, we had some help, explained Bindi. She proceeded to tell them about all about the tiger. The patrol laughed. Bindi protested, but I am telling the truth. She patted Bindi on the shoulder, still chuckling. Let's get you back to safety. The patrol put the three poachers in handcuffs, and the whole group began to work the entrance to the park. It was a long walk to the cars, but Bindi was so looking forward to seeing her mum and Robert that she hardly noticed. When they reached the clearing, there were where the vehicles were parked, she ran and, see, and received a big hug from Terry and Robert, but she was relieved to see that both Bindi and Maddie were unharmed. She, he hugged his son. One of the three poachers shouted at Bashi. He looked shaken. What did he say? asked Bindi. He tells me I have no I no longer have a job at the mill, explained Bashi. Bindi shook her head. I don't understand. Bashi sighed. These men are normally lodgers, not poachers. Our boss put them up to this. The less tigers alive in the national park, the less need there is for national park. No more tiger habitat. That means more trees can be cut down and we get more work. They watched as the handcuffed men were bundled into a waiting four-wheel drive. Cameron clapped Bashi on the back. The police will sort them out. Hopefully they will turn in their boss their boss in too. Bashi looked worried. Come on, Maddie, we must go home. Bindi and Maddie turned to each other. They didn't have the words to describe that what they had been taught through, but they knew they had shared an incredible moment, even if no one else believed them about the tiger. It'll be our secret it'll be our secret, Bindi winked at her new friend. As Maddie turned to follow his dad, Bindi handed him a folded up piece of paper. She had been carrying in her pocket. It was the tiger poster he had drawn in school. It showed a magnificent tiger, not unlike the one he had seen living happily in the wild. Give it to your dad, he'll know what to do.